Well, this is this is interesting news for both of us since we're, I guess we're fans of the series, but not as hyped as everyone else would be. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutants in Manhattan, for a multi-platform game developed by Platinum Games and published by Activision. Hmm. Confirmed by Australia, of all people. <laughs> Australia. Yeah. <laughs> and it's been and it's been rated M for mm. online interactivity, which, to be honest, n- no one rates the online interactivity, except mm. Australia. It didn't, yeah, well, we could and talk... And violence. Yeah, we could talk about Australia this for ages, but we won't go there. <laughs> Just listen to Yahtzee complain about it. You'll yeah. probably find some, like, extra excerpts from these, from these episodes. Yeah. But, yeah, new TMNT game since, well, I guess the last... I mean, the last... It. Yeah. No, it was Out of the Shadows. Well, I was going to say, that was the last big one. I mean, Out of the Shadows, that sort of came and went, really. <laughs> yeah, because it was shit. Yeah, it was kind of half original, half based on the movie, and a bit of it based on the t- TV. On the yeah, I had a feeling that it was going to be based on the Nickel- Nickelodeon TV show. Yeah. I bet you it started originally as a tiny movie game, and then they realized, oh shit, the movie's kind of going in trouble at the minute, and we might as well retell it. For I, don't, I don't know what company was working on an actual TV show one, mm. which I'm not too sure if it was good or not. I didn't hear anything about it. I think it's yeah. just kind of wa- I mean, it was a wash off, really. Yeah, but. but there hasn't really been that many good TMNT games. Well, the big one that everybody talks about is Turtles in Time. That's the one that a lot of people tend to say that's like... And, and the arcade and the arcade one, the that's original what I mean, arcade. Yeah. Either the, either, was it the SNES version or the arcade one? Is the one? It was the arcade, it's the Konami arcade game, which was imported to the, um, as a second Turtles game for the NES. Yeah. But a lot of people like really rave about the first game, first game which was kind of... I've, I've replayed it, it's just... Eh. Third one's okay. Four, TMNT 4, that was good. Mm-hmm. That's Turtles in Time. Yeah. Also, and it was part of the Mega Drive with the Hyperstone Heist. Mm. There was Tournament Fighters, and that's about it. Mm. I'm pretty sure there was a few other ones. Been a little, but it, was, there, there, wasn't, there wasn't really any until um, the 2003 series with the three games. Yeah, there was, that, then was, there was the, movie, the TMNT movie, the CG one. Which was, uh, yeah. Yeah. And then it was a remake of Turtles in Time and Sheld. Yeah. And and the part of the arcade one. And that's about it. Yeah. Those are the shadows, which we again was apparently really yeah. shit. Yeah, I mean, but to be fair, I haven't really played that many Turtle games in my time, but again, really the news of Platinum doing one, I mean pretty much because yeah, Pla- Platinum games, you think every, I mean, you've noticed like a, every single one Turtle game is a brawler. <laughs> every single one is a 3D three D or two D brawler. Yeah. Platinum Games, they're known for brawlers. Over the top brawlers, but brawlers and all. Yeah. Like stemming from Clover originally stemming from Clover Studios who made Beautiful Joe. Joe. Yeah. And you also have she have um, Hideki Kamiya who made Devil May Cry and Bayonetta. Mm-hmm. It is just that is just perfect. And now you got you got Bayonetta, then you had Vanquish. Uh what's recent one they have uh, the Wonderful 101. Yeah, the Wonderful 101, Bayonetta 2. Uh, yeah, they did some licensed games like Legend of Korra, which is very mediocre, and recently Ter- Transformers Devastation. Yeah, the reason I want to bring this up is because, considering the fact that that game's just been out for like a good few months or whatever, when I heard about this, my first thought was they should try and do what they did with Transformers Devastation, is in the game should take the aesthetics of the, 80s of the 1980s show and just go crazy with that. I had, a, I had a different idea. Did you? I think they should base it on the original um, Malibu comics. Yes, that's actually, actually, I have the two of them. Just, do, all I can think of is when I first heard it's like, oh, it's Team NT, so I was like, oh, they're in a platinum game. So, oh, that's pretty good. And Division, yeah. And I said, oh, it's a braided M for, for violence. And yeah. I'm thinking to myself, the only incarnation which had violence and it was dark was the very first Team NT comics. comics. Yeah. And, oh, Remarriage Comics, what the fuck's Malibu comics? What the fuck am I talking or that, or was that previously Marvel? I don't know. Mirage Comics. Yeah. Okay. Because all I could think of right now is Mad World, but with turtles. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's not. I will dare anyone to tell me I am wrong. No, that's. Not... You know, take away take away the, the Mad World staples, like its um, TV show present presentation, its score ranking system, and mm. you know the mini games and the, and the over the top bosses. Which, yeah. granted, you can keep those in if you get some good ones in there. Mm. If you get if you get um, uh, Eastman and Eastman and um, who's your the original creators? Uh, yeah, 
um, Eastman and Laird, Eastman and Laird, uh, Peter Laird, and yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't think that get those get those to draw some new um, original characters for exclusively for this game, and have the game in black and white. You know, the onomatopoeia in yellow or certain other colors, the blood in red, and maybe just have the bandanas in the iconic colors. Hmm. I was gonna. It's funny you say that. I think I'm trying to think that both the co-creators. They, I mean, they can do artwork. I mean, they don't officially own anything of TMNT anymore, but no, that could be a good idea. Oh shit! I forgot about TMNT Smash. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the Smash Bros. Turtles. Yeah, game. that actually. That even though it was kind of. It looked like it was based on the movie, but actually had more staples in the orig- in the eighties ones. Mm. But it also had an animation. Um, well, I say animation. It was more like just um, motion comic cutscenes yeah. in black and white. Mm. You know, if you take the aesthetic as Mad World mm. and have that violence, maybe toned down a bit because you know for a fact kids kids are gonna want it as well. You got, can't have this. Yeah, fuck you. We want it. Yeah, I'll... I wanted to play. I wanted to play a Mad World, and no fucking soccer mom's gonna keep getting my fucking way. It's, 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 it's funny you say that kids, because fuck the... you. Uh, yeah, fuck you. yeah, it's. But with that said, I think you know, it's a good idea that it could easily be based on the original comics. I mean, arguably, if you wanted the games, there could be like adaptations. Like each level could be adaptations of the original first few issues in many ways. Um, but also, I do think, even though it's supposed to be rated M, I mean, I'm trying to think, is the Transformers Devastation game, that is, wasn't that rated M, or, well, I'm not sure. Too. I think that was rated T, I'm not too sure, let me just look at All it. Right. I was just saying this, because even something like that, I mean, like I said, they've done Core and Transformers, I mean, again, even though it's an M, again, I can mean anything, but even then, I think you could game, my idea could be based more on the 80s show, and again, you could... It could be rated as a team game because you look at like Transformers of Korra. I mean, they use a lot of flashy effects when they're fighting. I mean, it's never really like you're not seeing blood and gore. And you're more just seeing like very stylized, you know, whips and flashes and, you know, when they hit people and stuff. So you could easily get away with that if they were to do it more of the 80s one. I mean, essentially still have the carefree attitude, but the action definitely very heightened and stuff. And you could probably use the silliness of it all because the original series was more ridiculous. Yeah, just Asian. Okay. I would, I would guess so. Like I said before, we take. I'm, I'm taking this with, with a grain of salt since these classifications, especially with Australia, mm. have always a fifty-fifty chance of just not coming to fruition. Mm. And knowing Australia with its classification with M, it really could, like you say, like it could be M in Australia, and for the rest of the world, it could be rated teen. Mm. So the because their version of violence is like we don't want people hitting other people with swords and size and bow stars, yeah. but especially no. Oh yeah, well, no particularly nunchucks. in the UK, this is infamous because in the UK, Michelangelo, there was a big ban of Michelangelo using his weapons. In fact, actually, the show was renamed Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles here in the UK because they thought ninja was more of a violent type of thing. You know, the idea of a ninja is more violent. Yeah. So. Like you said, it could go both, could go, like, anyway, it could go for the original Mirage comics, which I hope it would be, because that would be fucking mm-hmm. awesome. It could go for the 80s cartoons, for instance, like, Trip Devastation. Yeah. It could be it could the new series, or even based, or could be easily, or just for the life of us, hopefully not, based on the, on the, um, I think in post, in pre-production TMNT 2. Yeah, well, that can mean anything. Um... But even that said, I mean, let's be fair, Platinum Games are fairly well known for doing these type of games. And also, this is still a rumour. We don't know if this is the freebie official, because... Like I said, we've got a 50 50 chance that this could be just something they actually just registered, and it's not going to come around for the next several years. But it's a... on, the same, on the same hand... Can I? Yeah, it's, it's a good talking point, because there's a lot you can do with TMNT, especially, I think, if Platinum Games were involved. I think there's a lot they could do with it. Yeah. Also, it could be an original game, for all we know, like Out of the Shadows. Mm. But better. <laughs> but but yeah, better. It's yes. better because the platinum steel of betterness. 